when I invent something, I feel that that is who I am. And it just feels so real and makes me feel so alive. For me, validation of what I'm working on means getting into the products that people can buy in the store. It was easy with Gary. You know, he was so enthusiastic about the technology. He was the world's expert. I actually have an intuition about stuff from having built things and knowing what, what works and what doesn't work. He would go very deep, and I would look across the different disciplines and see where we could apply these technologies. I felt very safe suggesting the dumbest ideas because Gary would say, hmm, I'm not sure that we can do it that way, but that made me think about doing it this way. It was a very symbiotic relationship. I was, you know, I, I kind of knew what I brought, and, and she was she was the person who was who could evangelize people, who could get people excited about what we were doing and make them believe that what we were doing was important. Made me believe that what we were doing was important. Christina Johnson is um, probably the most energetic um, person I've ever met. So there weren't team sports for girls in high school. Uh, so I was so desperate to be part of a team that my senior year I joined the boys lacrosse team. You know, endurance athletes, at least the good ones, learn the value of rest. You, you work hard, you do the training, and then you have gotta take a break to, to reap the benefits of it. It's the same thing here. I think it wasn't considered odd until the coach put me into the first game. And when I went after the ball, I got, you know, creamed. <laughs> But that was okay, because that was the rules of the game. I'd get up super early in the morning. Uh, I'd work until I could tell I was running out of gas, and I'd, I'd go do something else. I'd go for a bike ride. I could do something that would clear my head. And one of the things I came to learn was that um, your brain's still working, and it's still working the problem. I've built a team everywhere I've gone. When I went to the University of Colorado, I was able to build a team by recruiting great players, if you will. If you looked at what I had accomplished as a high school student, you would, you would definitely write me off as <laughs> in terms of ever becoming a, a PhD. I saw myself as, as an athlete and, and, uh, and a drummer, and you know, school was something I had to do. He had a very good GPA, but then I noticed he was an All-American water polo player, and I said, oh, this one, I'm going to recruit Gary. You're the only one who gave me any points for the waterfall. Piece, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was applying. <laughs> I just knew that he understood discipline. I understood that he knew how to study. I knew he knew how to get things done. Well, you know, we we kept moving forward um, because we uh, we did really believe in what we were doing. There were stressful stressful times, but um, it was a, it was also a team environment. We were all in it together. We all felt like um, we were going to give it our best, and, and we stayed with it. What it means is you do whatever is needed to win. <laughs>